Hello and welcome to a mini lecture uh, introducing you to the Jones polynomial. This is a new polynomial invariant of links that we haven't seen yet. Uh, it's an invariant of oriented links and what I'm going to tell you is based roughly on pages 31 to 32 in the notes. Uh, so let's get started with the Jones polynomial. Uh, we begin not with the definition but with a theorem which tells us everything we need to know about the Jones polynomial in order to work it out for a specific link. So there is an invariant uh, written V of oriented links. It's called the Jones polynomial and it satisfies the following properties. First of all, the Jones polynomial of any link is in this ring. What does that mean? It means it's a polynomial uh, in T where the powers you can see in T are multiples of one half or minus one half. In other words, the powers are all integers or integers over two. Uh, the second property is that the value of the Jones polynomial on the unknot is one. And the third property is this big equation here. I'll tell you what it means shortly. And it's called the skein relation. Skein relation. What is a skein? Uh, it's what wool comes in that's not a ball. So if you go into a wool store, you'll see wool comes in balls and it comes in skeins, and skeins are the other things. Um, uh, there you go, a bit of background there. Uh, so what's going on here? Well, this is an equation that relates the Jones polynomial of something called L plus, the Jones polynomial of something called L minus, and the Jones polynomial of something called L zero, where these things L plus and L minus and L zero are oriented links which have diagrams and those diagrams should be equal except in a small region where they differ like this. You might have to be able to find a small region where L plus looks like this. Uh, in other words it's just a positive crossing where L minus looks like this and which is a negative crossing and where L zero looks like this no crossing at all. And uh, there's only one way to, if you, if you see the positive crossing, then you know how to change it into a negative crossing, and you know how to change it into no crossing at all, because there's only one way to smooth it out that lets you uh, keep the orientations as they were. Okay, here's an example for you. Let's start with this link here. It's the trivial link with two components. And just for convenience, I've oriented the left hand component anti-clockwise and the right-hand component clockwise. But of course, uh, out of the four ways of orienting this diagram, they're all equivalent just by rotating uh, one or other of the components through 180 degrees. Okay, so what can we do with this? Well, we're going to try and apply the skein relation. So we have to decide uh, how to make this link into uh, one of the three kinds on the bottom left there, L plus, L minus, or L zero. And we're going to do it like this. I'm going to take three copies. Ah, that was a bad plan, wasn't it? Okay. No, nope, that's fine. I'm going to make three copies of my link. And I'm going to observe that if I just pick on this region of the diagram, I have a copy of what I saw in L0, right? So I can call this L0. Now, uh, actually, I'm going to take a copy of this. So let's get rid of these two. And let's take a copy of this one. Now, if that is L0, then what should L plus and L minus be? Well, L plus should be what I get from this by replacing the not at all a crossing with a positive crossing. So let me replace that with a positive crossing. And uh, so that's L plus. And what will L minus be? L minus will be whatever I get by replacing the thing I circled with a negative crossing, which is there. So that is L minus. Now, uh, what are these links? Well, L0 is the thing we started with. 
So I've got a set of three links that I can apply this game relation to. And the first one is L0, so that's good. And sorry, the, the third one is L0, so that's good. Uh, what is L minus? Well, oh, that should be a minus. Sorry, everyone. There we go. That was a minus. What is L minus? Well, look, it's just the unknot, right? Wow, that was a dreadful unknot. And what is L plus? Well, that's also the unknot, right? So, what have I got? I've got uh, my new link, my trivial link with two components, and it fits into the scan relation, L0, L plus, L minus, where the other two things are unknots, things I already know about as far as the Jones polynomial goes. Remember, I know the Jones polynomial is the unknot, it's one. So now if I write down the scan relation, I'm gonna be able to work something out. So let's do that. Uh, I know that T inverse VL plus, I'm writing out the scan, the scan relation, minus T VL minus, plus T to the minus one half, minus T to the one half, VL zero, that's equal to zero. So what does that tell me? Well, it tells me that let's just let's just uh, get rid of these things. I need more space. Okay, uh, be deleted. There we go. Uh, so, what is L plus? It's the unknot. What is its Jones polynomial? It's one. So I just have t inverse times one. That's t inverse. What is L minus? It's the Jones. Poly it's the unknot. Its Jones polynomial is one. So I just get minus t. And what is VL0? That's the thing I'm trying to work out now. Okay, so uh, I get this equation, which I can then uh, rewrite as saying that VL0, that's going to be t minus t inverse, all divided by t to the minus 1 half minus t to the 1 half, uh, which is equal to, if you work it out, that's minus t to the 1 half minus t to the minus 1 half. So uh, after all that, what we did was we worked out the Jones polynomial of the trivial link of two components. Okay, so now let me just make a couple of remarks before we finish. So uh, the first remark is that the skein relation, it lets you compute any one of VL plus, VL minus, VL zero from the other two. So if you're challenged with trying to work out the Jones polynomial of some link, then what you should do is you should try and find a way to think of your link as either L plus, L minus, or L zero. And you should try and do that in such a way that the other two, in this case, our link was L zero and the other two were L plus and L minus, maybe your link is gonna be L plus and the other two are L minus and L zero. Whatever you do, you should try and make sure that the other two are simpler. Simpler in the sense that you know what their Jones polynomials are already. Okay, so there are many different ways to apply the scan relation to a given link. And uh, you have to choose a good one uh, if you're trying to work it out. And um, this is actually a theoretical remark, the final one. You can use the scan relation uh, to compute VL for any L. So there is a way to use the scan relation to compute anything. Okay, so that's the end of the mini lecture.